how to export InDesign to HTML email. If you're looking to turn your InDesign document into an HTML email, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to make this process smooth and effective. First, open your document in Adobe InDesign. If you're starting from scratch, go to File, then New, and select Document. For web and email distribution, set the intent to web and choose a custom page size, such as 500 pixels wide and 900 pixels high. This will help you design your email with the right dimensions. Next, use the design tools to create your layout. You can draw rectangles to represent the header, body, and footer of your email. Insert any images you need, ensuring they are hosted on a web server. This is important because email clients may not display images stored locally. Once your design is ready, it's time to export it to HTML. Go to File, then Export, or press Ctrl-E to open the Export dialog. Select HTML as the Save As type and click Save. This will open the HTML Export Options dialog. In this dialog, you can control various aspects of the export. If you don't want to include CSS classes in your HTML, you can select the option to exclude them. However, for email purposes, it's often better to use inline CSS to ensure compatibility with various email clients. When exporting images, make sure to link them to a server path where they are hosted. This ensures that the images will display correctly in the email. After exporting, your HTML document will open in a new browser window. You can then copy the HTML code using Notepad or any text editor. Press Ctrl-A to select all the code and Ctrl-C to copy it. To use this HTML in an email, paste the code into the message body of a new email. Depending on your email provider, you may need to enable HTML formatting. For example, in Gmail, you can switch to the HTML view when composing an email. However, there's a catch. Many email clients have issues with HTML that includes CSS or JavaScript. To avoid this, you might want to use email templates that are specifically designed for email clients, such as those from Constant Contact. These templates use tables and inline CSS, making them more compatible with various email clients. If you need to send the HTML content directly, it's better to zip the files and share a link rather than attaching the zip file to the email. Email clients like Gmail may block emails with JavaScript, so uploading the content to a file sharing service like Dropbox or Google Drive and sharing the link is a safer option. By following these steps, you can successfully convert your InDesign document into an HTML email that looks professional and works well across different email clients.